Hello everybody, it's Darcy the Bad Artist. Hope everyone's having a great day. So in this video, um, I'm painting with wine and adding some watercolor and some graphite and a little bit of uh, Copic ink and we're going to create a lobster. Now a couple things you'll notice about when you're painting with wine if you try this yourself. You can see how uh, I think a lot of people would think it might come on a very dark wine, would come on a very dark purple um, and really bleed into the page as well. As you can see right now, it doesn't come out dark at all. Um, there's a big difference between the tannins in wine, which give it its color, and um, for example, a dark paint or a watercolor paint, which has pigments. Much much difference. This looks very diluted. Um, so creates a little bit of a challenge. Um, now I had to actually do a couple layers. This is the first layer of the wine and it's going to pop into now that you can see that it's dried a bit. Well then I started adding a second layer um, just to try and darken some areas up. Um, because uh, an uncooked lobster, which is what this is going to end up hoping to look like, I don't know if it will or not, um, tends to have a lot of dark areas, uh, a lot of dark browns, dark purples, uh, contrasted with some oranges. So you can see here I'm adding wine on top of wine to create a darker layer. Now here, there you can see my absolutely hairy arm. I'm sorry about that. And I'm just giving a bit of an outline here. This is a, a black Copic, Copic, depends on how you say it, I guess, marker. Um, just to sort of define the edges, um, helping me down the road for when I start adding watercolor. And uh, at least with this point too, you can see how um, the shape of the lobster with the wine is actually coming a bit better into play. So this actually helps too, if you're gonna try this. Now I'm adding some color. This is Core, Q-O-R watercolor. Now you may not notice this, but if you're looking at a live lobster up close, and I work at Red Lobster actually, there's a lot of oranges and uh, purples and different colored browns and even some blues and greens, which are fascinating. Um, so when I do this, I'm actually uh, focusing a lot on the uh, those colors there because ultimately this is what I want the lobster to look like. And it's coming. It's coming. Again, there's always that. This is one of those things where you can go, you know, I bet I could do a way better job than this that Darcy's doing. So you should try it. And going in here, now what I'm doing here is, this is the graphite pencils I used to add. This really helps to darken things up um, the lobster itself is quite dark, so I, while I could have added more watercolor and um, gone that way, I wanted to give it a bit more realistic look to it. I don't know if that happens or not with this, but in this stage here, I'm just kind of um, adding in the dark colors, getting some depth. Um, it was definitely needed, and then I used a torchalon to uh, blend in the watercolors, which are dry, with the, the graphite. So it's, it's working a bit. I mean, it's all gonna depend on what you want your end lobster to look like. Uh, my idea is to have a pretty dark looking lobster with some color in it, as opposed to a very bright and colorful looking lobster. But it's coming. I kinda like the way it's going, sort of. That's my <coughs> That's my dog barking in the background. Maybe she doesn't like it. And then here, just starting to add some final paints. Um, I didn't want the dark to overwhelm it too much. So um, this was sort of another layer I did. Just, you didn't, I, know, I wanted to get rid of the complete white on the lobster. Like through its back um, and then there's also the separation of with the segments where it does get quite dark and I added that in as well 
worked on the claws because everybody likes lobster claws. That's what I made this from. Uh, those products there, pretty common. And here's the joke of the day. <laughs> hey, you have a great day. Thanks very much.